So what if we talk about um, static equilibrium? Here is a question which I have for you. The question is saying the figure below shows a weight suspended by two ropes. The tension in rope 1 is 30 newtons. Draw a free body diagram showing the resolution of forces and find the weight W of the object. So the forces that we have here, we have been given this one already. So there is no... The only force that we have to resolve is the tension 2. So I'll call this one as T1 and this one as T2. Of which I know that to resolve this is going to have the X component and the Y component. Of which the X component is going to be T2X, the, the Y component will be T2Y. Using Sokatoa, I can know I can see that this is Z, this forming Z. The angle which is here is the same as the angle which is there. So meaning that here we have 40. Another way on how you can find that is just by doing this. You know that this is going to give you 90. So you have been given 50 here. 90 minus 50 is 40. That's another way of finding that the angle here is 40 degrees. So using Sokatoa, T2Y is T sine theta. T, T2X is T cos theta. Now, let us first, we are trying to find W and W is in Y. So the summation of all the forces in Y direction, we have got T2Y pointing upward minus W which is pointing downward. This one will be pointing downward. So we have got the MG there. Okay. So that is the weight. Now, when we're talking about static equilibrium, meaning an object is not moving. Therefore, you replace this with zero. So this will be T2 sine theta minus that. Shift W to the other side. We have this. The angle is 40. Now, I want to find W, but I don't have T2. So I will leave it here and say that is equation 1. Then I need to go for the forces in x direction. So in x direction, we have got the T1 pointing that side. Okay. It is just there. Okay. It is not at an angle. So you can say T1 is going to be T cos theta. The theta there, it is 0. So 30 cos 0 is still T1, which is 30. So that's why I'm going to put just T1 minus t2 x replace this with 0 t1 minus t uh, 2 cosine of theta shift this to the other side t2 cosine of the theta is 40 should be equal to t1 so divide both sides by cos 40, even here, cos 40. I'm trying to find T2. So we have T2 being equal T1 is 30 divided by cos, cos 40. So we're going to have T2 being equal to 30 divided by cos 40 39.16 so 39.16 is my t2 okay 39.16 newtons after finding t2 i can now go ahead and find w which is going to be T2 is 39.16 sine 40. So the weight force they want us to find, it is 39.16 sine of 40, which is 25.17 newtons. 
So that is the answer for this question. The weight force is 25.17 Newton. And then the forces for us to write a free body diagram is some. If you want, you can write the free body diagram in this manner. Let me show you. You have this. You just draw it like this. Okay, then you have that. The forces acting at that point, you are going to say, or oh, even here you can just do it like that. So the force, you have got that force. So that force we expect, so you say that is T2, and this is T1, and that is, so you put R, that is Mg, that is the weight force. So it is going in this direction. I have that. So that is 40. So this is D2X. That is D2Y. You can resolve the free body. So you report your free body diagram in this manner. As simple as that. There is nothing complicated here. Okay.